Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent, close to my heart maker. And today I'm joining with the Makers with Heart for another mystery envelope challenge. And this month I sent out the envelope and the challenge. So this month they had to create something with an interactive element other than just the flip flap, add any cardstock from the storybook collection, and they must use a stamp set and they could use any other embellishments they want. And here you can see the little pack of goodies that I sent to each of the makers. So I decided to make a turnkey card based on Shrushti Patel's um, card tutorial. I put the link in the description below along with all the dimensions. The base of the card was five inches by 10 inches, scored at two and a half, five and seven and a half. And then I have all of these other little papers. I'm kind of showing you how I'm going to lay out the card and what it's like. Now those circles, I actually end up making smaller because they were too large. Okay, so um, for the card, you'll have these two interactive pieces on the front that will fold over and I cut them in Seabrook cardstock and I'm layering on some of the papers that I sent to the girls. And then this little mechanism right here will be what helps make the turn lock on the card. And it doesn't actually lock, but it kind of folds over and you'll see it work in a few minutes. So I give all of the dimensions down below, but I'm taking these two mist cardstock pieces and I'm putting them on the lightest side um, and I'm mounting them on the front flaps of the card. And these pieces measure two and three eighths by four and seven eighths, I believe. And then I'm going to mark one and three quarters inches down and one and three quarters inches over. And I'm going to come up with a spot and just mark it with a little circle. And then I'm going to do the same thing down at the bottom on the other flap. I'm going to go one and three quarters inches up and then one and three quarters inches over from the outside and mark another spot. In these two spots, I'm going to um, cut a hole or actually punch a hole with my crocodile on these two spots. And that's where I will put in that, inter that um, little intricate piece that'll help the turn lock spin on the front of the card. And there you can see my one inch circles. I had to cut the other circles down and you will see me punch these holes. Okay, and after I punch these holes, I'm going to bring in some red line tape and it's really thin. It's like an eighth of an inch. And that's what I'm going to use when I mount these circles on. So I'm folding these little pieces up and putting them through that hole. They were um, an eighth of an inch wide and scored like every half inch to make that little mechanism. And I'm putting down that red line tape and I will peel back the plastic backing on it and then put these circles on the inside of my card. That will be part of my mechanism to make the card stock spin for the piece on the front of the card. So I'm gonna do this on both spots where I punched out the holes. So each month, the Makers with Heart takes turns sending out a mystery envelope full of items and some special rules. And 
Um, I was the one who sent out this month and I wanted everybody to do something interactive with their supplies. And so I decided to do a card. I wanted to do something that I could use maybe for my granddaughter's birthday coming up. And when we asked her what kind of birthday party she wanted, she said she wants a princess birthday party. And so I thought the storybook collection that I had included in these mystery envelopes would be absolutely perfect for me to make some sort of card for her. Um, and so that's what I decided to work on. So I'm going to assemble these little um, pieces and I'm going to make one for the top and one for the bottom and they will each open to the outside. So I'm going to, and they will also spin. So um, I'm putting some more red line tape on that mechanism on the front and it's about one eighth of an inch by one inch right there. And um, then these folded over pieces that are from the Seabrook cardstock will lay on the front and they will spin on the front of the card. When I lay these little folded pieces on the front, I just line them up in the corner of the card, the top left and the bottom right corners, and made sure that they opened to the outside. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and start laying, uh, layering on all the pretty pieces of paper that I have. So I start by putting the striped storybook paper on the inside and then I had some of that black glitter paper and I put it on the inside as well. And then the star uh, print that was from the storybook paper, I put on the outside. And I did that to both of those panels. And then I'm going to bring in a couple of pictures that I have. So at Christmas, my granddaughter had gotten a box full of Disney princess dresses that she could dress up and play pretend. Aren't those adorable? And so I'm going to put her picture inside each of these panels. And then I'm going to um, close these up and start working on the inside of my card as well. I just love twisting this. It's just a lot of fun to play with. So I'm going to put the Irresistibles on the inside and I'm being very careful to go around those circles with my adhesive and not on top of the circles. And so I did that on both sides, lots of adhesive around the circle. And then um, I just made sure I didn't get the adhesive near the circle so that those pieces could still freely turn the way they need to on the front. And then I'm going to layer in all of the panels for the inside. Um, I put down the stripe paper first, and then I put down a panel of uh, Seabrook that was four and a quarter square and then a panel of the mist and I actually wrapped around the little piece of the zip strip that was sent and then I just layered that four inch piece square piece on top of the other pieces and that's basically just the main parts of the card. So the rest of this will all be decorations. Um, I had the sticker sheet and I really wanted that castle, but it was almost too wide for my sentiment and everything inside. So I decided I would just split it and make it go on the two sides of my fold on the card. And so I lined it up by just kind of folding up the panel 
and then putting it right up against that folded piece. And then I did the same thing for the other side. I just folded up the other way and really slid it in next to that seam and got it in there nice and snug. And then I came in with one of my Spectrum Noir markers that was gray and I just went down that um, seam. So it made it a little bit less obvious and you didn't see that melon cardstock sticking out between the um, two sides of the castle inside there. And then I was deciding on some more stickers. So I kind of played with some different options and decided I wanted maybe some banners going across here. But I needed to make sure that they would stand out and um, you'd be able to see it enough on the front of the card. So I picked the striped ones and then one with a little um, rainbow on it. And then I just grabbed a stamp pad that was nearby and then went around the edges of this other little banner just so it stood out a little bit better against that busy print um, and that just putting something on the edge really did help it and then I did the same thing to this little banner that says you are my and um, I'm going to put the princess sticker underneath it so if you don't follow all of the makers with heart, make sure you go down to my description below and look, there's a listing of all of their channels and each of us got the same envelope full of supplies um, to make a mystery envelope this month. And um, it's always fun to see what everybody comes up with because everybody has the same supplies and they come up with so many different ideas and it's just exciting to see. Okay, so I'm layering a few more banners just inside this card and I also have a piece of white cardstock that was cut with the thin cuts from the stitched fancy brackets set and I'm going to uh, put a little princess crown on that piece and I'm going to stamp a sentiment. Um, we did have to stamp something. Um, that was one of the requirements. So this is actually from the storybook collection. It was a stamp and thin cut set that was um, featured with this same paper pack. And so I stamped on there um, a birthday sentiment for my little princess. And this was stamped in the grape ink and layered inside the card. And then I also came back and decided that inside that card, I needed to add some things. So... Um, I added a little um, ribbon like for those banners to hang from and then I also added a bunch of stickers on the inside and the outside just little hearts and stars and I also added inside those turning elements um, those panels, I thought I needed to put something on that black glitter paper. Now, it's hard to get things to stick to that black glitter paper, so I grabbed my 3D foam tape and I layered on two of the stickers from the sticker sheet. Um, a little rainbow and then also a little heart that I thought looked really cute. And that's pretty much the whole card. I hope you enjoyed my interactive card. And um, I'd like you to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Um, make sure you have subscribed to my channel and all of the Makers with Heart. And turn on the bell so you get the notifications each time we upload a new crafty video. 
feel free to leave a sweet comment and share this with your crafty friends. Thanks and have a great day.